Hey guys, I've got a kettlebell workout for you today. It's eight swings, one bell, single arm, six snatches, full snatches, four squats, two presses. That's one round. We're gonna do two minutes, then rest for one minute, four minutes, rest for one minute, six minutes, rest for one minute, and eight minutes. Every time you buy in with 10 CrossFit burpees, that means when we start the timer for the two minutes, you do 10 CrossFit burpees first. Then you start your swings, snatches, squats, and presses, one side. That's one round, then you do your other side. As many as you can do within those two minutes. Then you take one minute rest. Then you start your four minutes. You buy in with 10 CrossFit burpees. So you do your 10 burpees first. Then you start this again, eight, six, four, two. You do as many as you can within those four minutes. You rest one minute. Then you got your six minutes. You buy in with 10 CrossFit burpees. Then you start this again, left, right, left, right. Each side is one round. You write down your rounds. Then one minute rest, then you start your last eight minutes. Then you have two minutes rest. Then you finish with your task for time, which is 100 double arm swings, 50 strict presses on your left, 50 on your right. Now, if you don't have a special timer to set two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, eight minutes, the best thing you can do is set the timer for 23 minutes. When the timer starts, you start your two minutes. When the timer gets at 21 minutes, you rest for one minute. When the timer gets at 20, you start your four minutes. When the timer gets at 16, you rest one minute. When the timer gets at 15, you start your six minutes. Then when the timer gets at nine, you rest one minute. When the timer gets at eight, you, you start your last eight minutes. So a full round of your swings, snatches, squats, and presses looks like this. Your squat is in rack position, nice and tight. Touch the ground, don't lean forward, pressing to the ground, full extension, that's one, two, three, four, straight to your press, in full racking position, Full lockout. With your task for time, you need to go down in the weight. Leave your ego out. 50 strict presses on one side is a lot. So let's say you've been swinging 20 for your first AMRAPs. Go down to 16 or even 14 because you want to maintain good form. The strict press is from racking position, everything locked out, straight up into full lockout, down back into racking. Now we're only doing the up part, so you can drop and catch it to rack, but press with a full lockout. Knees, hips, abs on, everything tight, press, catch, press. 
If you completed the workout, you enjoyed it, please let us know. It doesn't matter how many reps you did or what weight you used or what time you set. Just post below. It's always good to see people doing the workout.